All right, folks. Hey, welcome in a special edition, edition, edition of Flying with Mike. Let's tour the Caribbean, shall we? And while we're doing it, let's take a look a little deeper into Beta 3. I'm not certain things are going to be easy to see because we're not flying a float plane. Or I'm not sure what the uh, reference to more schools means yet. But, uh, folks... I want to welcome you in. Oh, excuse me. I had to get a soda here. Um, I hope you've had a great start into your weekends. I hope your Sundays are looking good. And uh, by all means, enjoy, folks, especially if you're out here in the Midwest. And I think most of the eastern half, we just have some spectacular weather. Matter of fact, one might even say chilly, uh, in the mornings at least. Uh, but anyway, it is a blessing, believe me. And also what a blessing is, if you don't like commercials, folks, speaking of commercials, you're just coming out of them. And if you really don't like those, but you love being here at Flying with Mike, have you suggest, uh, thought about, um, subscribing to the channel the month of september in twitch is called sub timber and uh what they do is they offer some pretty good deals for you folks it's a for one month subs it's 25 percent off three month subs 25 percent off six month subs 30 percent off so if you really would love to support the channel uh, maybe you're already a follower. That is the best way right there, being a follower. I love the followers here. But, you know, I also enjoy that extra money that comes in to help us uh, with major purchases. Uh, really does help here, folks. We uh, take that money and we really do funnel it back into the stream. You're looking at one of those aircraft we were able to purchase because of uh, your generosity in the subs. One other thing about September. If you like buying things out of Twitch's Loot Cave, you use that code up there in the chat room. Twitch sub 20 
20% off there too. So folks, September is a really great uh, month. If you've ever really pondered, why am I watching commercials? Why don't I just sub and I don't have to see them? Because I'm going to also kind of spice it up a little. I have added more minutes to the commercials that run per hour. <clears throat> in, in hopes of raising some uh, revenue for the uh, uh, stream so we can try and... Uh, uh, get some uh, additional aircraft. All right. Oh, nothing like a stuffy nose and running through a lot of text like that. Um, all right. One big thing here, folks. We are sitting in St. Bart's. Now, the opening promo screens gave you a little bit of flavor of what this airport is really like. It's a fun airport to come in, folks. Really is. And now with the addition of uh, 1.2 to X-Plane 12, I'm here to tell you, folks, it got even better. Yeah, it's hard to you know hard to make something better when they go and do something like that. All right, hang on a second here, folks. Oh, there we go. All right. Just trying to follow one of our followers slash moderator suggestions, run the chat room as close to my eyes as possible, even though I still miss it. But anyway, let me swing around and let's t talk about this airport, shall we? Maybe, he says cautiously. There goes the cameraman. All right, now St. Bart's is a very small island, folks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's kind of raise up a little. That's not helping. All right, well, all right. Well, that isn't helping either. Okay, that's going to be the best. All right, so St. Bart's, like I said, is a small island. Uh, you're a 20-minute, roughly, rough flight from St. Martin to here. Most all of your Caribbean tours or adventures start into the Caribbean out of St. Martin or um, San Juan. But from St. Martin, 20 minutes to here. And folks, that right there is a <laughs> wild approach. Now, um, you can watch this over on YouTube. We uh, flew it, I believe, about a week ago, two weeks at the most, successfully. It took, oh, better part of... Ah, sorry, folks. Better part of eight runs on it to finally get a flight from St. Martin into here, one run. We finally figured it out. And I am not seeing something here. Hang on. Anyway, uh, up there, did they get rid of them? Uh, Beta 2 had... Hang on. Let's find out. There they are. Okay. Okay, if you look up there, folks, you see the two wind socks. They pretty much help you somehow guide in on the airport okay guide in to this airport now you've probably seen this on youtube where they're coming in at a very steep angle up bottom out before the runway and land what they're doing is they're coming in if you draw a line between these two uh, that's what a flight simmer has told me and try to cross at or above that and then chop the power and come in, you more than likely will make it. Now, the cool thing... Oh, I forgot we're in that mode. The cool thing about this airport is you have parking there. You have parking here at the terminal. Pretty cool, right? And look how far down your landing zone is. Yeah, that's quite a... That's what it takes, folks. But at the end is a small beach and the lagoon. <laughs> yeah, 
some airplanes have gone into the beach. So uh, it has been a, uh, it's a challenge to get in here. And that's why pilots are specially rated for this airport. Uh, now, where are we going? Saba Island. And I've taken quite a bit to get to that part of the uh, puzzle. From here, it's a 20 minute ride over to Saba. The shortest commercial airport airfield in the world. Runway length. Shortest runway length commercial airfield in the world. 1,300 feet. Yeah, 1,300 feet. Now, yeah, I can hear y'all go, piece of cake, man. I can do that any tab dead night. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go it's going to freak you out folks it really is it's a challenge the approach itself is not like this one although it kind of is it's getting the doggone plane stopped in 1300 feet most need about two to three to four thousand feet and we're doing it in 1300 feet uh, typical aircraft that fly over there are Islanders, little uh, 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 two-engine pr uh, piston prop airliners. Given the name Islander is because you find them hopping islands. The uh, Dash 6 uh, uh, Stole version, Stole standing for short takeoff and landing. It's short landing and short takeoff, folks. We've done it. Matter of fact, I think we actually blew something on the engine on our first outing out of there. So, enough chit chat. Let's get in here. Let's get going. First off, a little more on the uh, what we're doing. We're going to bring in some toolkit. There it comes up on my side. All right, so you can see the airplane. That's where we are. We will basically fly out over the lagoon. Now, one of two ways we can come around this way, or I'm going to come around this way, direct motor. Then we're going to go pretty much visual, unless this is getting a lot closer than it shows. Uh, we'll then shoot the uh, RNAV that's set up. There is no RNAV into here, folks. This is strictly visual rules, and it, it's a tricky approach. All right, uh, today's crew is uh, eight. Uh, we're going to be running with uh, 1,400 pounds of passengers and cargo. Uh, like I said, Modor, and then there, 3,500 feet. Yeah, that sounds like a good altitude. Like I said, folks, this is super short. Uh, and they're go we're going to make sure at least 500 pounds. I think I'm loading 800. We'll see uh, when we get there. Uh, weather, no weather at Saba. It is evening time there. There are no night flights in there. You'll see why in a minute. And uh, here, 090 at 7. Little variable, which makes it very bumpy as you come down that hill. Hey, Coco, welcome in. Hope you enjoy the Caribbean today. Gonna warm our tail feathers up down here. And, of course, what do you expect in the Caribbean but thunderstorms, folks? There's a towering cumulus nearby. So, it's gonna be a fun run. As you can see on the map here, we'll look at it one more time. Got some to the south, probably moving that way. Hopefully they won't beat us. We'll see. Uh, and finally, I'm going to go ahead and hope for the best here. I did this last time and somebody came up. But uh, we'll give it a shot. Nonetheless. All right. Hang on. Hang on. That's not what I wanted. Why is that up here? Huh. That's the one I want. Okay, get that put in. By the way, 
I actually be did not look at the charts before setting the flight up, so um, I in just instinctively made. Um, um, oh, what am I trying to think? Uh, Sit Martin, our um, alternate for today. Sorry, folks, got a little tied up in doing a couple of things at once. Oops, and I did something too fast. There we go. All right, and oop, I just did. Okay, there we go. All right, so oh, I feel winded, man. All right, so let's get this thing going, shall we? All right, first thing we're going to do, button it up. I think I just did what I did not want to do. Yep, I sure enough did. Bear with me, folks. All right, let's take a look back real quick. That's what I did not want to see. Oh, this part drives me bonkers all the time, folks. Sorry. And this is a problem with Thronda, but it's not a big deal till... Still got a box. Did I finally get them right? Yes. All right. Whew. Anyway. I, I knew I'd flipped them around. It That's the hardest thing about it. Now, what I've done is save the configuration to go... No. Oh, man. I am just messing up to no end today. What I had done is put 200 pounds in each seat back there. and had it saved. I'm gonna try something. Oh, it's not gonna work anyway. That's the one bad thing with this program. You have a very I haven't been shown an easy way to load this plane. And I don't really think there is. Ah, bummer. Got another thousand 
1,400, well, almost 1,000 now to go. Good Lord. My apologies. And see, the mouse starts moving, and... Uh, I feel I apologize for this, folks. But it gives you an idea what to expect with the plane. It, like I said, once you hit save, you hit load, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, I'm going to take it from here. It's not really scientific, but we're just going with 200 pounds a person. Okay, and all right, so right now I'm going to hit save. Okay, now uh, we are looking at uh, needing 500 pounds. Going to lower us down to about... Eight hundred forty eight pounds and save. Okay, so now you can see the CG folks. You want to keep it in the envelope. Even in the real world there's an envelope or envelopes you keep everything in and you're good to go that way. Alright, livery wise we're running with the uh, Air Caribbeans again and this will take care of your doors. We'll get my uh, parking brake reset can do it in the cockpit too but uh you can open engine covers throw the covers on ch chalk it down all of that good stuff and uh, i am just gonna get this thing all closed up ready to go because we've wasted a lot of time and that is my problem my fault i do apologize and let me do a real quick look All right, looks good. Let's go online, hopefully. FWI, 572, correct. And we are not flying for an airline today, folks, so I don't have to worry about that. Oop, not 298, 208. All right, so we're ready to go. Again, folks, it's out to Mopar and then on. All right, we do have a checklist. Folks, I'm going to let you know a little secret behind flying with Mike is we do fly with those things. Too many different airplanes get me too confused too quickly. Okay, so we've uh, got the doors closed. It's not like the Piper, folks, where we can actually latch the doors, but we've got them closed. People are all in, I think. Wait, whoa, something don't look right. Swap. 
swing around. Okay, everything's closed up. I just, it looked kind of weird back there to me. Um, all right, let's get our vents open. The big vent is the air conditioner that'll come on here once we get this thing going. Fuel tanks all on. Okay, we are ready to go, folks. For now, I get rid of that. Uh, PAX briefing complete, cabin doors closed, ignition switch is in normal. The uh, circuit breakers are all in. And no, unfortunately, you can't pull circuit breakers in this. Fuel tanks are on both radar, air conditioner, inverter, bleed air, all off. Uh, okay. And props forward big debate on that. I get where some people are coming from with it, folks, but if the checklist tells me, that's where it goes. Okay, we'll turn the nav switch on and the beacon, so that way you all will know when we uh, turn it on. Batteries on. Air conditioner getting ready to be turned on. There it is. All right. Clear prop. Here we go. Wing flaps are up. Batteries on. Emergency power lever normal. Throttle working. Condition lever all the way back. Auxiliary boost pump to on. Let's start that blade up. it like that for now but yeah if you click the phones over here it's like putting the headphones on and you can hear better. We'll do that here in a minute don't worry. Hang on a second here. Alright we actually Got a great crowd tonight. Love it. All right. So I uh, hope you all enjoy this little short jaunt over to Saba. Uh, what did I just do? Love when I don't get the plan to come together. Right. Let's finish this up. 
what I'm going to do is just put in a very simple, well, actually, we'll just put in what's out there. Okay, so go to flight plan, FPL, over here where you get, you got a uh, half circle that's large, half circle that's small, the small one will take you to all of your flight plans in your uh, X-Plane 12 folder. You can go in and delete them, folks. Um, I just haven't yet. And then we're going to just walk through. It's going to be near the bottom. Uh, TN. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, good. We'll make the flight plan then. How about that? Okay, so we're at TFJ. Next is going to be very simple. We just click. And it was only, is, is what I'm basically doing, giving me an idea of where we're flying to. And then TN, TN, C, S. That's it, folks. All there is to it. And then you can see the flight plan if we bump it out. See it a little bit, but we're going to keep it bumped in tight. Close, bring that, pull that up. Bring that back, pull that up. You're going to find some interestingness with this approach. Feel free to Google it. And I just put this in here, again, just as a backup. My guess is these airline companies here probably have routes. All dispatch does is pull up the one for the day sends them out to the planes and then they type it in off their dispatch sheet. That's how I would see to see it better. But this one is, uh, I forget how to, there you go. Now you can see that one the same way. Okay, now all I'm going to do is uh, set up some frequencies. Guess what, folks? There are no frequencies unless you want to go over and run the radio off PJM and then come down. That's a lot of flying. If you were an instrument, it's a big possibility. All right. Uh, St. Bart's is reporting uh, 1011. I think we're 
we're ready to go, folks. All I gotta do now... Ah, I'm glad I looked. Glad I looked. The frequency's wrong. Okay, VOR, let's get the uh, scent mark put in. 1300. Not able to pick it up here on the ground. Over here. Uh, Fourteen five. And that's St. Kitts. All right, we're ready to go. Dial it up. Okay, flight director's on. Set, set, and... Alright, here we go. Flap set. Oh, <laughs> let me show this. Folks, this radar is junk, just to let you know. Don't count on it to work for you. It's showing weather now at night. Yeah, does a pretty good job. By day, it pretty well stinks. So, okay, we're set to go. Here we go. Let's get the uh, rampy to pull the chocks. Again, a nice look here. Nice look. So you can see that lovely approach. Well, we're going to be on the ground going out a lot easier. Here we go. St. Bart's traffic. Uh, uh, Indies uh, 572, taxi 2, runway 10. Need for Indies. Okay, I've got the brakes set. So I wanted to check here, folks. Hang on. Um, Feel free to jump in, folks. The water is warm here. We're in the Caribbean. Let's go. Saba Island. All right. We've got to run up to do real quick. Sure, we get a torque drive. 
up. Okay, we did. Pedo heats on, on. <clears throat> Don't have to worry about icing. Uh, everything set. Wing flaps 20, flight push, windows closed, brakes release, fuel high. We're ready to go, folks. Hopefully we can do as good as we did last time. We flew in here. Made a pretty good landing here, so uh, we'll see if we can, if uh, we can make that happen. Okay, before takeoff, uh, avionics radar set. Uh, kind of. All right, I want to show something here before we get going. Okay, this is the chart for the arrival here, folks. Okay, now basically how this works here with runway 10. Okay, runway 28 is not that hard. You're coming in, you get the whole runway at your disposal. You get about three quarters of it at your disposal coming this way. Okay, so what you're going to do is a series of checkpoints. Sugarloaf. From Sugarloaf, you're going to track 103 up, basically up the coast here, and then look for the runway. You're going to come in 1,500 feet. Again, remember, don't think we can see the other, but if you draw a line across here, you want to come above that and then chop your power and set up for the landing. Do your best. Make sure your trims and all are set. And then you make your landing. Take off. Basically, see how you come in 2-8? It's real easy. Take off, we're going to basically, at the, as quickly to the end of the runway, head out into the bay, and then out. Lagoon, bay, however you want to call it. And then we're going to wrap ourselves around the top half and head over to boat. So that's what we're facing here. Over at Saba. Here's your runway, folks. Yes, displaced. So technically, now I'm going to use that term. Even in the real world, I see them on video touching down back here. It's only 1,300 feet, folks. So be, you know, be mindful. That's not meters. That's feet. So now the approach here. There's only one, folks. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Here it is. You go to CS4. Um, there's how you find it. 
then you fly 229 down on that radio, you intercept off PJM to CS300, your initial. Okay, from here, 181 to 200, 151 to here. Now there is a rock out here. You'll, we actually have it in uh, X Plane. Uh, one of the pilots says he plans a beam of that rock at five to seven hundred feet. We're gonna try it. Uh, this might be one of those times, folks, when I say, "Yep, might want to slow the sim down." Just by the way this happens. But we're gonna go in full speed. Full speed ahead. So again, we're going to go out, come around, out to Modor. And then come in like we're supposed to. All right, so you guys have been briefed know what we're doing and uh, I hope you enjoy the ride. Breaks off. St. Bart's traffic uh, West Indies 572 departing runway 10. Did I forget to tell you there's a slope? Takeoff clear for takeoff. Here we go. By the way, that's St. Martin out there, folks.
And that in the distance looks that same. I don't know why she did that. have to happen. We are reaching Bodor and should be turning in the next couple of seconds. Sorry, folks, was uh, putting a question to the minions over at uh, our Discord channel. Feel free to join in the conversation there. And uh, uh, 
be a part of flying with Mike over there on Discord. Um, currently, that is again Seba Island right in front of us. ships now added to uh, X-Plane with the advent of uh, version .1.2 for X-Plane 12 and uh, some tweaking with these betas. One of the uh, uh, videos I watched, folks. I have to say, it does kind of have that look to Jurassic Park. <laughs> so we'll be uh, on the lookout for uh, old enemies of mine from back in my younger days, the dinosaurs. Look, it's kind of cool. We got some cloudiness hugging around, and now it makes me almost want to go. Denali real quick. That's pretty cool. Saba is right there, folks, our landing strip. So, from here out, it's going to be our plane. Island, uh, West Indy, uh, 572 inbound, approximately 10 miles north and east of the field. By the way, Saba Island, St. Barts, these two were updated with 1.2, uh, so it was St. Martin specifically, but they also added ships, they also added um, a whole litany of things that we may test out. Right, you can see the strip, and then told you it's not very long. I thought I saw what did they get rid of that? There it is. 
right there, that rock in the water there, five to seven hundred. Save by Island, uh, West Indies, 572, inbound. Say 
Maple Island uh, 572 is final. that a third time. Third time's a charm. Hopefully you say bye.
time was the charm. Just uh, take you out over the water here, folks. You are very quiet. <laughs> Give it a try. Come on down to Saba. Instead of doing the uh, Singapore to JFK, come on down to St. Martin's. <laughs> hook up with Hawker there and do that Singapore flight. <laughs> well, folks, third time was a charm into here. I'll bring that in here. <laughs> Yeah, they don't even make the parking easy here, folks. <laughs> All right, folks, there you have it. Save the island. We'll brief it here in a second. Folks, there you have it. The uh, first throttle engines down there. Okay. Little hair raising as always, folks, to come in here, but I hope you enjoyed. And again, um, Give it about 30 seconds and we'll wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed. Now we're going to, yes, rewind a couple of times. Take a look at this. But I hope you enjoyed. We'll get you a better view while our subscribers can get an idea of where we're at. Yes, folks, it's a controlled airfield. Believe it or not, there is a fire apparatus right up here. Again, if you watch the video, you should see it. Uh, obviously, it's a good idea to have it here. Uh, <laughs> it's very easy for a mess. Welcome back from the ads, folks. Remember, everyone, it's September, meaning 10% or 20% off one and three month subs, 30% off if you want to go six months, and uh, also if you like getting merchandise from the uh, Twitch Twitch sub 20 will get you another 20% off. Folks, it's been a blast. As the sign says, welcome to Sabre. I think I heard 2,000 people live here, folks. Full time. And uh, I have to admit, it's a beautiful island. Uh, 
I'll give it. X-Plane probably doesn't do all that great a justice to it, but uh, it's not bad. Um, and uh, it's a fun airport. So let's get in here, shut it down, and then we're going to do some replays. Okay. First off, I want to do this. Well, that bites. I forgot to. Okay. That stinks. landing we're going to get rated on. <laughs> Two actually touched down. One was a go around. Alright folks, so again, Saba Island. So I'm going to go ahead, go through the shutdown here real quick. And uh, we'll go from there. So after landing, flaps up, ice protection's off. But it's the Caribbean. We don't need ice protection. Uh, we're at, oh, there we are. Strokes are off. Beacon's on. Okay. Landing and taxi light fuel levers there. Okay, let's go to Feather. Alright, bear with me a second here, folks. Takes a couple seconds for it to get down under 10%. Oh, awesome. Uh, I have to ask uh, X-Plane or the other sim. And battery off. Alright folks, there you have it. On the ground here at Saba. Rotate. Uh oh, X-Plane 11. Cool. Alright. Well, X-Plane 12 is better. But, you know, hey. You know, hey. I love hearing that. How'd you like the MD-11, by the way? I like to call it the Airbus 11. All right, folks, so let's look at this thing. Uh, aircraft in one piece. It is a goofy autopilot. <laughs> Believe it or not, the airlines hated that airplane. Uh, but the cargo companies got them for such a deal uh, that they made out one, like bandits, and two made them to what we know of them today. Um, they really were a hunk of crap. Uh for the airlines they just the pilots did not like them um i don't know what it was i heard it was difficult uh landings were a little challenging with it which with that autopilot i can't imagine why um but that's more takeoff so but anyway that's real world the rotate is a fantastic plane folks if you're in x plane i highly recommend it and uh who knows? I may fly it next week. But let's get back to today. The future will take care of the future, I think. Um, <laughs> all right, so here's what happened on this flight. Again, we did not intention, we intentionally did not fly with a VA on this one. And I probably will not any, uh, will not on any Caribbean tour flight because they are all challenging. I got another one I found. I want to see if it really is as challenging as initially seen or if it was just the way the cameras were taking shots. I don't even remember the name. 
So you're going to bear with me. I'm going to do a little research to find it again. But it was looking up Islander flights. All right, but this flight, Sim Toolkit, is a great tool for this, folks. Um, as you can see, 591 feet a minute. Probably this last one. I think uh, Elevatex got the first one we actually hit the ground on at 700 feet a minute so we hit and i suspect it's tough once you get used to it i'm sure it's pretty you know like any airport you know that i've ever flown to that i remember you get used to them they're a piece of cake it's getting used to them that's hard so 557 feet a minute we'll take we'll complete the flight you can see the circuits. Okay, 591. Okay, again, you can see we came in. To me, I think it looks better if we fly that radial and come in. The further out you get, the more, I think, reaction time you get until you're used to the approach to come in. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. So, but it seemed to me when I came in on that longer approach, I was able to get the plane better in a position. I guess the word really in this case was standard. Not bad. First landing, 146. Good job, Shampoo. Great job. So, I think that was the key here. Let's take a look at some details and then we'll do some flying here. Well, rewinding. Okay, it was a 43 minute fly time. Again, a lot of go arounds. Each one taking about a good 10, 15 minutes. So that kind of racked it up. 26 miles, folks. Yeah, we hit pretty hard. But at 80 knots, that's actually pretty good. Normal landing speed, folks, is 75 to 80. Short field, which I think this qualifies, <laughs> at M-A-U-W-C, page one. Um, hang on, folks. I'm seeing page one. I'm curious what that meant. That doesn't make sense, but hey, you know what? It never does. Okay, um, so short field is 78 knots, folks. So being at 80, I feel that was at least pretty much how I brought it in. I tried to keep it close to 80 to 90 so that we could get there. And... Albeit, I don't know which landing this is, folks. Um, <laughs> zero feet down the runway, zero feet off the center line. So we'll just kind of go with what we see. I just swore we touched down here. So real close to here. But uh, we'll take it. And then we got stopped before going off the cliff. All right, so pretty decent. Uh, can't complain too much there. And if I did, I don't think anyone would really listen to me complain. All right, so let's pull Sim Toolkit away, button up the airplane. Hmm. And... Uh, Let's see what this looked like. Whoop, I thought I had that closed. There we go. All right, let's put it in reverse and see what happens. Okay, that takes us off. Uh, X-Pilot, because I forgot.
I think this might be our first. We'll find out. I'm not even gonna kind of. Crash landing still count. <laughs> Second attempt in here, folks. First one we just went around. Welcome in, Duluth. Welcome in. Uh, Houston Center, Delta 738, uh, Crown here. We are experiencing tension. I'm talking tension turbulence from Rock and Becky. Okay, that was our first smack it. We saw the mistakes on that one. I don't think we need to talk much about them. Mistakes where you just made mistakes. Uh, just mistakes I made. Mistakes were made, lessons were learned, no one, no, no one was hurt. Correct. Now we got a pretty decent approach on this one. We'll kind of watch it. Folks, this is that rock I was telling you that pilot said he tries to cross at five to seven hundred. I forgot to look in here. I think it's like a hundred feet. So if you can have the plane fully configured, five to seven hundred feet at your landing speed, I think you'll do pretty good here. I got in a little close. No, I'm doing good. And he was in an islander, by the way. They these are easy strips for them. Believe me, I've been thinking about it. Okay. See just how bad. The hard part to, to get used to is how close this cliff is. Right there's the uh, fire station, folks. Wonder why they're right there. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. <laughs> I hope Parker likes his camera. <laughs> Docker, get a new camera. Well, here he might after this. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> wow. Okay. Where's Mr. Hawk Tua? I think he's uh, was lurking. I think I had a false start because no, actually, actually, he's playing Age of Empires too. Oh. Ah. So overall, folks, not a bad flight. Um, wow, <laughs> that was incredible. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I did. That was actually pretty fun, folks. Um, not that one. That one. All right, so there it is, folks, the caravan. Here go Carabas. Yep. 
one of the Caribbean. They don't fly in here. It's just the cl only one I could find. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Not again. Uh, let me what take. You, what you, oh, there. I think I switched the seats around again. Mm. I hate that in this plane. Oh, no, I got them. Okay, good. <laughs> I really hate it when I do that. And that's also what I get, folks, for clicking instead of just doing it the easy way. I'm doing this one, though. There we go. All right, folks. So there you have it. Uh-oh. Now I do think something changed in there. Yep, right there. There we go. What changed? It is one of the seats. It changed that go around. Scrolling oh. out, scrolled it. So. Mm. Yeah, everything looks fine now. All right, folks. But I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the Caribbean. Um, I am still not 100% sure what all they worked on uh, with the uh, Beta 3. So, otherwise, well, have you figured any out? Yeah, they added some more boats and then another bunch of schools. Because I don't know what the schools are, but there's more. There's more. They added some uh, boats and more boat, more boat races, and they and they added some schools. And I'm like, what schools do they add? I don't know. I didn't even know they had schools. So yeah, I don't know, folks. I know they did some things also for the amphibian plane. The, I do have that ability to put that on here. Um, but I don't know what they did yet, so I don't want to... They, they changed the uh, uh, wave effects that made sure that enabled it to land and, and take off. Huh. Apparently the wake in the water was off by a, just a tad bit, causing the, causing the planes not to be able to take off and land. All right, well, we'll uh, tackle that next time, folks. We're going to find a good place. We might even throw the, the, the floats on it. We'll have some floaties and uh, on our next tour. So, but folks, it took two or three attempts. We got into Saba, no problem. We're going to call it tonight, call it what it was, a great, great stream. And... Uh, that was actually fun, just flying, folks, a whopping 26 miles. And those of you that say you don't have time, I think you do here. Okay, it may take forever to get on the ground, but that's kind of the fun. And Saba and St. Bart's are two of the best airports to give you a good challenge in the uh, smaller aircraft. Now, if you want to do it in a 737 or an Airbus, I highly recommend um, Reagan Runway 19 Visuals or, L or the um, LDA Juno. I came across another one. Where was it? Even trickier. Aparo, of course. But um, oh, where was the other one? I mean, it was a really good displaced threshold where you got to come in and turn for the runway at the end. So I uh, highly recommend looking those up, folks, if you're looking for flights. You don't have to start off going to Washington Reagan in L.A. You know you can start in, like, Charlotte, Pittsburgh. You really want to go short, Philadelphia or Middletown, Pennsylvania head on down and enjoy the, sh the quick flight. There you are. Uh, LaGuardia is another short runway with fun. Midway, really challenging uh, with those short runways. So, um, especially if you don't fly the aisle, if you fly it, not let the uh, auto land do it. So, 
But I hope you all enjoyed, folks. We're going to wrap it up. We'll see you again next time Monday. Who knows what airplane we'll be flying. But uh, it will be a fun day for sure. We might pop up tomorrow, but no guarantees. Sundays, I kind of keep kind of very, we'll see how the day is going kind of deal. So, Duluth Fly, thanks for uh, popping in. Yeah, no worries, buddy. No, no, no and, uh, problem. Let's see. You said Hawker was hiding out there somewhere? Hawker's playing Asia Empires, too. Ah, there he is. Ah, let's see. Let's see if I can, what we got out here to raid. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what web gear is playing, but it's not a flight sim. Hang on. Let me see what I got on mine. Wait a minute. I got one. Iowa Scotsman. There you go. Bush League. They got a fly in tonight? Huh. Well, we'll head on over there. So, folks, we're going to head over to the Scotsman, and I hope you enjoy some bush flying in the backcountry. Uh, Iowa Scotsman's way of flying. So enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get this right this time. Shampoo poo. Eh. Eh. Um. La.